first, 11.59 p.m., the clock runs out. The safeguard keeping potentially hundreds of thousands of people across the state in their homes dropped as the CDC's eviction moratorium, after months of protection, expired in the state of Florida. We are expecting a dramatic increase in requests for assistance from tenants in Orange County. Jay Mobley with the Legal Aid Society of the Orange County Bar Association is preparing for a flood of cases. He's heard his fair share of heartbreaking stories, especially when it comes to seniors who lost their jobs during the pandemic. That extra money made the difference between staying housed for the seniors and being homeless. State Representative Anna Escamani says what's even more sad is much of the $870 million in federal money devoted to helping with this cause never came through. Really, this has been such a nightmare because we have been pushing, pushing, pushing for rental assistance dollars to get to Floridians. We just learned this weekend that the state of Florida has only released 2% of funding from the state program. Her work has involved working with both landlords and tenants to fight for tenants to keep a roof over their heads, but also to let them know how to move forward in the face of an uncertain future. For those who need help in the coming days, Mobley says he's assembled an army to fight for their case. We've probably got 50 or more attorneys on standby ready for this wave of folks that need assistance in understanding their rights as we move forward. So we are geared up and ready to go. Reporting in Orlando, Emily Braun, Spectrum News 13.